What did you say uh, about about heat, Rexana? Um, we said that um 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 that um when when you wear black things, um, it it, obs it absorbs the it heat. Absorbs the heat. And white things, they um they reflect the, the heat, heat away. And it, away. Okay, and then uh, Celesta, also, what did we say about uh, 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 the heat? We the hot object always gives to the cold object, and then they become the same temperature. Thank and you. when it's when they the the same temperature, it does the cold object doesn't absorb anything else because they're the same temperature. Thank you. And so and also that's why we talked about the 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 theme of theme of flask how the theme of flask the grid and why the theme of flask keeps. Uh, things it's hot or hot all the time, time or if you put eyes in them the their You'll eyes stay. are in, in them just as we today we want to make our own flask using these two the bottles and the this paper and the, these the things this is a coffee jug for sister ah, Alexander no one is going to take anything but okay you can explain so this is um like a like a, this kind of flask but it's um it's um the white it reflects so it always keeps the same temperature so this is why people put tea in here and it all it always stays hot and it's because not quite the same as a, a, a flask a a a a a a a but it always keeps the thing hot and when you touch it it's a, like a conductor so it doesn't when you touch it there's it's no insulator it's insulator there are materials which absorb the heat and material which deflect heat also there are materials which are called insulators which and don't which conduct heat and which doesn't conduct heat so the, uh, uh, the flask is made of such materials and, and do you know why they put a, a white um lid yeah. on the top yeah. it's because white things reflect the heat away so they're clever they're clever. They didn't just do that for, they didn't no, just reason. Do for no reason. So this is why people use this when they go to work. And so we are going to, to we are going to show you the the other the other part when we we are we are making the flask. So now um, we have made this um, this because the, the glass is a very good insulator of heat as well. So we put the glass in the same like in the thermo uh, in the real thermo flask which we have here, and then we are going to put this aluminium foil which reflects heat. So it's a heat reflector. So um, because we don't have uh, I don't have a vacuum. Uh, pump to, to take out the vacuum and then seal in this space so that it can be a real thermal flask but uh, instead I'm going to put these uh, heat insulators inside there and then uh, I rip this insulator to represent the, the vacuum to represent the air air tight uh, uh, system so I'm going to put this around my bottle around the bottle there there and then I will cover them with aluminium foil as well. So there, okay, okay, that. Thank you. 
this thing here. So we put also on the bottom. The bottom to the bottom. Okay, bottom. And the, the bottom there is the same with aluminium foil too. Now um, that you have finished putting everything in the insulator, now is the thermal flask. As it is now, um, we want now to to renovate the the lid so that it can be part of the heat to escape through the lid. So we Um, I've got a thermometer here and I've got one here a bottle which is not a uh, flask and now I'll put um, some um, some water some warm water there but so I'm going to measure the, the temperature of this this water here 36 degrees point, um, 36 degrees point six the temperature of this water so i'm going to, i'll put that here okay and um, immediately i will leave it but we don't want to to say things there i'll take again here the same amount of water and i take the real thermal flask so i'm going to put also 36.5 degrees of water here in the real thermal flask. I'll leave it there like that. And I'm going to put also this bottle. So definitely I'm putting the same amount, the same quantity of water. You see, I put there and there and in the and, and flask there. I put the same one. So let me see. Let me check again. As you can see, the temperature didn't change. It's still the same temperature. Thirty six point um, thirty six point six degrees Celsius. So I'm going to close this one. I'm going to close this thermal flask. And I'm going to also uh, take this one, the flask, into we 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 so we're going to take all this and put it in, in the refrigerator in the deep freeze i'm going to check the 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 temperature of all these waters after 30 minutes or after one hour after uh, i will take them from the deep freeze and check the temperatures of each of each water of each bottle after 30 minutes to find out which one keeps the, the, the temperature it stayed which one keeps the heat at stayed which one keeps the heat. we know this one keeps the heat at stayed. these are reference of the experiment where we are basing how these things work so we base with this as assuming it's 100 percent as it is manufactured and it has been drained super and these are all made and this are uh, all oh, and we're going to put them in the um, deep freeze at one go Take a point for 
Okay, maybe the fridge is not cool. Now, you can even see uh, the, you see the, that it has been in the deep freeze and um, you see some humid accumulating condensation happening here of the um, environmental air uh, being cooled by the, the, the cool, the, 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 the water which has been cooled under the temperatures of the fridge. Let me just call the fridge here. Now, and also here you can see some um water accumulating there uh some are accumulating inside the you can see some spot water inside because of um these uh, uh spaces which we have here which it was supposed to be filled packed packed filled those are some of the things which we when you are going to make yours make sure it's filled all over and this one also is also having um, having the now it's a um, part of the test take this so now what we are going to do is to to take the temperatures of each of the these substances which are here let me take this cup so that i will be able to pour the water in and the, this one i won't pour I'll just like straight away Everything is seven. We we'll wait for the beep to mean that it has taken the final temperatures. It will give it a beep. Whilst I'm waiting for the beep, um, Celesta and Rexana, uh, I want to tell you uh, last time you um, that there's a beep there. Look, I said the temperature is there, uh, seven degrees, seven degrees, seven degrees there so i offer this one we this clipboard and we go to this one okay. um last time you said the first law of thermodynamics the first law of thermodynamics is not about heat transfer the first law of thermodynamics is called the law of conservation of energy that energy can never be created or can never be lost i will explain about the law of energy uh, in the next video uh, the, the this one of heat transfer is called the second law of thermodynamics whereby heat of um, the uh, heat tra transfers from a um, high object from a high temperature object to a lower temperature object that's how it is until it reaches equilibrium so it is built let us see the, 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 the there it says here truly it says 33 degrees 0.5 so it has decreased from almost 33 degrees 0.5 so this is actually a function of the moment that it has lost it has lost about three degrees of of, of heat when it was in the refrigerator let us find the, the one on the on the thermo flask oh it's still hot there i put the thermometer inside there and see how much it is lost how much heat has been lost in this thing the also as i was talking about the law of conservation of energy the first law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamics uh, which relates to the uh, 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 heat um, it's called law of entropy 
Well, I'm not, I'm not saying this to serious that the exam that they should know entropy <laughs> about second, uh, perpetual movement and all those things. Uh, those things are, I'll explain to them when they are a little bit uh, A levels. Let's see what is happening there. It's not recording. Now it's not recording. I did not put it. Let us wait for the beep. So it started the beep final reading. It says here final reading is here. Um, 35 degrees point three. That's 35 degrees point three then. 35 degrees point three it says reached this day. Uh, so it has lost about to one degree in the refrigerator. So giving um so it's actually I'm actually I, I actually made Like there, as that you can see, probably. So, 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 there I am. See you on the next video. And I have proof that my thermo flask can work. My thermo flask can work and um, can be used. And you can make your thermo flask when you are in the, in the rural areas or somewhere in schools whereby you, you cannot obtain this or you cannot have the money to buy this you can make your own with these bottles and all these things you can make a thermal flask and it can work and um, materials can be improved to make a, a, a nice thermal flask and uh, if you can have a rubber thing to suck out the air and then to pin when there is no air there you can, it will be a very fantastic one to be very beautiful to work very well uh, so this is how mine is mine it lost about three degrees celsius and this one lost one degree and this one really lost the whole heat and it became very cold up to zero seven degrees celsius these are the um scientists Celeste and Rexana who were doing uh the we this is another day we are just finalizing our video about thermodynamics and um, since I will briefly tell us about uh, thermodynamics also tell us the first law and second law of thermodynamics Celeste. So, hi, hello viewers. I am going to tell you the, the first laws and the second laws of thermodynamics. Well, the first law is that um, that you it, there's a form of energy and it changes the different movements so when you're doing this you're, you're energy your is called energy can never uh, conversation energy can never be destroyed or, or created, or created. Yeah. it always is just same. That's the first law of thermodynamics. So, do you want to, I will show you. Uh, no, Alexander will show us. Alexander will do that demonstration for us of thermodynamics and she'll tell us what has happened. So, uh, the second law so, of thermodynamics. My second law of thermodynamics, well, you would know your purchase in the first video, is that hot things always give to cold things. And when they, and then that, that thing, the cold thing, was, is the same temperature, it cannot absorb from that thing because they're the same temperature. Okay, so it's uh, yeah, so Thank it's you. about uh, heat transfers. So, Rexana, tell us more about the first law of thermodynamics and give us this experiment of what happens to the energies that they cannot be created or cannot be destroyed. Okay. Well, um, hello, um, um, viewers. Um, I'm just going to show you a quick example demonstration, demonstration of um the first um, second law, the second no the, the first, first law of, of the thermodynamics. Ther thermodynamics Dynamics. so if you would you okay so i'm going to do the demonstration now okay oh, there's a lot that happened there, there's there. a lot what um, um so you you must be run wondering um what ha um nothing happened but there was a lot of things and that's that what process. science is about and there was so much process in that um Move, um, movement and um, heat but um, you're going to um, um, so 
Yeah. Um, um, we're going to. Um, somebody else is going to talk a bit deeper about um, um, what I just did there. So my ne- I'm Celeste Gillen Lewis. Um, so this is what she has been done. In. You may have thought that there's really nothing when you clap your hands, but there's a whole process of energy going through that process. You see, this is movement. Then it becomes when you clap, it becomes sounds, right? When it was there, what is it, what was it called? Potential energy, and it was Potential like energy. in your uh, stored energy in your body, so and then it went to. And then it went to my hand to make a sound, you see? And then movement. Movement. And, and heat. And then it creates heat. Uh-huh. Because you slash so there are all different and energies and just it, it, the going hand, into the one, other hand. one process. Yeah, so, so energy has been transferred from, from... One thing to another. From one thing, from move, from uh, uh, from potential energy, and went into movement when your hand was moving, and when it slept to each other, it created sound energy. And yeah. then uh, the sound energy uh, also created heat energy and everything. So we, with our experiment there, with our things on the experiment, with our things on the experiment there, take the thermometer, this is what we use. You want to take your temperature there? My you put there and you take it. My temperature too. So she's taking uh, the temperature. While I am taking the temperature, we are going to be talking about the flask we made just after the first and we will having we will have a brief break now yeah so this is the flask which we, we took so there were two of them so we want to say bye 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 to the viewers i hope that this has helped, helped you a lot in your studies i hope this, or science i also hope this has helped you understand that this is one whole process when you do something don't just think it's Twice. thanks for watching Bye. From I hope Celeste you enjoyed Sana this video. Martin Chinyanga.